balancing the books navigating ethical dilemmas in accounting in the world of accounting ethical dilemmas can be like a tightrope walk demanding both professional integrity and moral responsibility in today's session i get to explore the real life scenarios accountants face as they strive to maintain financial transparency while upholding ethical principles i will also discuss the possible solutions or call them the remedies to these ethical dilemmas let's look at the first scenario confidentiality versus reporting fraud imagine an accountant who uncovers financial fraud within a client's organization on one hand they are bound by strict client confidentiality while on the other their professional ethics demand that they report the illegal activities that is scenario 1 for you let's get to scenario 2 pressure to manipulate financial statements picture a corporate accountant who faces immense pressure from senior management to manipulate financial statements to create an illusion of better performance even when the economic conditions are not favorable the question is should they succumb to such pressure a case in point here is enron enron was an energy company facing intense pressure to meet ambitious financial targets set by its top executives the Chief financial officer, or call it the CFO of Enron, was responsible for overseeing the company's financial operations. The pressure to achieve these targets led to a culture where financial performance was prioritized over ethical considerations. To meet these financial targets, the chief financial officer and his team created complex financial structures and off-balance sheet entities often referred to as special purpose vehicles. These structures allowed Enron to hide its debt and losses while inflating profits on its financial statements. These financial maneuvers created a significant ethical dilemma. These structures were designed not only to deceive investors but also to avoid regulatory scrutiny. Enron's financial reports were increasingly misleading, making it seem as if the company was thriving when in reality it was mired in debt and financial mismanagement. Enron's unethical financial practices ultimately led to the company's bankruptcy in 2001, resulting in massive financial losses for employees, shareholders, and investors. This shows how Enron's chief financial officer succumbed to the pressure to meet financial targets resulting in a breach of his ethics and his involvement in deceptive financial practices conflicts of interest lack of transparency and their devastating consequences underscore the importance of accountants upholding ethical principles to maintain trust and integrity in the financial world let's get to the next scenario conflicts of interest Now consider an accountant who in addition to their professional role holds financial interests that create potential conflicts of interest. How do they ensure their judgments remain impartial as ethics demand? A real world example is an accountant working for a publicly traded company who also owns a significant number of shares in that company. Such a scenario creates a conflict of interest because the accountant's financial well-being is directly tied to the company's stock performance. This may influence their financial reporting and decision making, leading to biased judgments or potentially concealing unfavorable information. Another scenario of ethical dilemmas here could be auditor independence versus client relationships. In the case of auditors, Developing long-standing relationships with clients is common. But what happens when these relationships begin to cloud their independence, potentially affecting audit objectivity? A real-world example of this ethical dilemma is a major accounting firm that has audited a large corporation for many years. Over time, a close and lucrative relationship has developed with the auditor providing not only auditing services but also consultation and advisory services to the client. Now, while this may enhance the quality of the audit through better understanding of the client's operations, it can also create a perception 
of compromised independence. Let's look at another ethical dilemma here. Inaccurate reporting versus job security. Consider an accountant who uncovers financial irregularities within their organization, but fears retaliation if they report them. It's a classical job security versus ethical responsibility dilemma. A real-world scenario that illustrates this dilemma is an accountant working for a publicly traded corporation. They uncover evidence of fraudulent accounting practices intended to inflate the company's financial performance and stock value. The accountant knows that exposing these irregularities is the right thing to do ethically as it serves the interests of the company's stakeholders, including shareholders and investors. However, they are acutely aware that blowing the whistle could lead to negative consequences, such as termination, ostracism, or even legal action. Now that is quite a dilemma, isn't it? Let's get to the next ethical dilemma, data privacy and information security. Now, in the age of data, accountants often wrestle with the ethical responsibility of handling sensitive financial and personal information. How do they ensure data privacy and information security in their daily practice? A real-world example to illustrate this dilemma is an accountant working for a firm that manages the financial records of numerous clients. These records include highly sensitive personal and financial information. Ensuring data privacy and information security is quite an ethical responsibility for accountants today. Another ethical dilemma here, fair value assessment. Accountants often grapple with the subjective nature of fair value assessments. Now what happens when they face pressure to assign values that do not align with their professional judgment? Real-world scenario that illustrates this dilemma is an accountant working for a publicly traded company. They are responsible for determining the fair value of certain assets like intellectual property or goodwill. However, company executives are exerting pressure to overvalue these assets to present a rosier financial picture to shareholders, creditors, or even, even potential investors. What can an accountant do under such pressure? Now let's explore some proposals on how accountants can navigate the ethical dilemmas I have mentioned above. Okay, let's get to the first one, confidentiality versus reporting fraud. An accountant uncovers financial fraud within a client's organization. The dilemma is client confidentiality or reporting illegal activities. What's the resolution here? Seek legal advice, document the findings and report to appropriate authorities. Or, and of course, this comes with ensuring whistleblower protection. Let's get to the next scenario. We have um, a scenario. Uh, you have immense pressure to manipulate financial statements. So what's the resolution? The resolution could be maintain professional ethics, communicate concerns to senior management, and if necessary, seek guidance from professional organizations to ensure adherence to ethical reporting. All right, let's get to the next scenario, financial interests that create, you know, conflicts. So what could be the solution here for conflict of interest? Well, disclose conflicts of interest, recuse from relevant decisions, and undergo ethics training to ensure impartiality. Next scenario, auditor independence versus client relationships. So what could be the resolution to having relationships of, uh, you know, relationships clouding auditor independence? The possible solution here could be engage in open dialogues with the firm's ethics committee and if independence is compromised, recuse from specific audits to maintain professional objectivity. Next scenario here, inaccurate reporting versus job security. So, uh -huh. how do we handle this kind of thing? You fear the fear of retaliation for reporting inaccuracies. So, the possible resolution here is prioritize ethical responsibility. 
report irregularities, invoke whistleblower protections, and seek legal advice to protect yourself. Next scenario, data privacy and information security. So, what resolution do we have here when it comes to ethical handling of data? The solution here is to adhere to data privacy laws and implement stringent information security measures. Collaborate with cybersecurity experts to ensure data protection. Next scenario, the fair value assessment. Okay, so what's the resolution when it comes to subjective fair value assessments? Well, here we do exercise professional judgment impartially, document assessments transparently, and engage in regular peer reviews to ensure accountability. In conclusion, ethical dilemmas are the trials of the accounting profession and are a reality in the world of accounting. As we've seen in these real-life scenarios, accountants often find themselves at the crossroads where they must make difficult choices. Their commitment to transparency, accountability, and upholding ethical principles is paramount, ensuring the trust of clients, organizations, and the public remains unshaken. Thank you for watching. My name is Arnold Kisembo Kuramia.